Hi, I'm Eric Naso, and I wanted to share a little tip with you that we all need <laughs> at one time or another. If you shoot on a DSLR, if you shoot on a mirrorless camera, and if you have, uh, you know, MP4 files, those files are always going to start with the same sequence of numbers. So here, uh, an example is, this is B-roll that I shot for my Aperture Lightstorm LS1S review that I'm going to edit today. And this is A7R2 footage. So every time you format a card and stick it into the camera, it's going to create this sequence, C0001. And when you take the card out, offload your media, stick a new card in the camera, format it, it's gonna start with the same sequence all over again. Well, that makes it very difficult for media management. So let's do it the free way in OS X to change these files, it, the names of them. It's super easy and it's actually pretty cool. So here we go. I have to select all of them. I pick the first one, you right click on it, and there it is rename 38 items okay so i just click on that and i get a dialog box so here's where my options are now i can continue this pattern using the c0001 and let's say maybe i wanted to go to to 39 on the next batch so i can keep this name structure or i can just abandon it altogether. so that's with format i could add text and see here is like where I would be able to start it all over again, which I don't really like. So, but here's an example. I don't, that's really great. And you can do it before or after the name here as well. That's that option. Uh, you can do format. And this is the one I'm gonna use. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change it to aperture. And then it's gonna start at one. And after the name. So. I could even change it to aperture underscore B-roll. That's even more specific. And then we'll start the number one. And then my next batch, when I do it, I can continue with this naming structure and just start with the number of where I left off. So here it would be aperture B-roll. See the last clip here is 38. I would just make that 39, okay? And so the next in sequence would be 39 and, and forward. But I'm going to start with one. So that's it. Watch this. Boom. Done. The whole thing has been renamed. Keeps the file the same. It doesn't change the, uh, the extension, which is perfect. So now I am ready to roll. Now I did this after I, you know, I copied it all off to my hard drive. So I left the original card structure the same, which is here. This is the clips you'll see here on to the right, and they are all here. So I will probably reuse this card, which is no problem if I need to get some more pickup shots. So that's it. Pretty easy, but I tell you, it drives me crazy. Anything goes wrong, if your media goes offline, you better know where it is, because doing a search for <laughs> C0001.mp4 is, uh, well, it's going to be a little more difficult. All right. Hope that helps. That's your quick tip for today. Have a good one. Happy editing.